This demonstration is going to walk you through HPE ILO 6. We're going to start from the top right corner with the status icons. Some of those can be clicked and perform actions such as this one for power operation. Items in green are basically in good shape. Items in yellow you may want to pay attention to, and items in red we definitely want to check what's wrong. So let's click on this red shield icon. ILO then takes us to the security dashboard. The security dashboard is a great place to see all the major system settings that need your security considerations, and if any of those are against the security best practice, ILO will report it with a red at-risk status. In some cases, it doesn't matter for you, so then you can quiesce it by toggling the ignore switch as shown. Then overall security status in red turns into yellow ignored status. If you want to address this issue by changing the configuration, then simply click the name of the feature. Then ILO takes it to the right place so you can update the settings. Under system information, we can check the inventory details like processor, memory, network, storage, and so on. Firmware and OS software shows a list of the components that carries its own firmware and the installed firmware versions. We can see similar information on the software tab where system management agents from HPE are running on the operating system. It's a good idea to keep those firmware versions up to date. You can perform firmware updates from this section as well. Remote console and media. This section is where you can launch an HTML5 console from the thumbnail or from the main screen. Let's enlarge the screen. You can easily send key combinations like Control, Alt, Delete. You can type text from your local PC. The mouse also works on this server. You can mount virtual media, virtual folder, file, or a CD, DVD, ISO image from remote file share or from your local PC. Mounting virtual media is extremely useful during your initial software deployment and installing the operating system to your server. As you can see, this is the contents of the ISO image we just mounted. We can close the session by simply clicking X. And the nice thing about the HTML5 console by ILO is that it automatically logs us out from the OS session. This is a great security feature. As you see, we must log back in again. Let's look at power and thermal. Here we can see a bunch of information like fan status, and the power meter provides the power consumption for the last 20 minutes 24 hours, and past one week. From the temperature screen, we can see all the sensor readings and the drawing of the heat map based on those readings. Using the circles, we can hold our mouse over to see what they are. Next is remote support. We can register the system to HPE remote support, and when needed, the system can send diagnostic data, configure information, telemetry, and so on, and it even opens up a support case on your behalf automatically. Under Administration, we can take a look at the firmware verification in this section. ILO scans and verifies firmware images and makes sure only an authentic firmware image can run on the server. Root of trust for such verification is burned into the ILO chip, which is immutable, so any attempt of trying to load a compromised firmware image on the server will fail because the signature would not match to the original authentic firmware image. The scan and verification happens during the firmware upgrade as a matter of course, and also when the firmware image is booting up. But in addition to those, we can run the scan and verification on demand or schedule how often that scan should happen. Lastly, let's look at the security section. There's a bunch of security related settings that we can manage here. One of the features is global component integrity. This is new to the HPE ProLiant Gen 11 compute platforms and ILO 6. It authenticates all the PCIe devices within the system that conforms to SPDM, a new industry standard for security. And when authentication fails for any of the devices, then that's a sign that something is wrong, such as a potentially compromised PCIe device. So, once that happens, then this feature will stop the system from booting up. This is it for the demonstration of HPE ILO 6. Thanks for watching.